Hey everybody out there in DJ land, a uh, little quick video today we're going to try to set up the jog wheel on my controller as a pitch control, kind of like they do on some of the budget controllers, the newer budget controllers, uh, Newmark Party Mix and the Hercules Instinct P8, I noticed both have this and I'm assuming there are some other controllers out there with it as well. Basically you have a modifier key that turns your jog wheel from a nudge into a pitch change. Um, so I'm going to do that real quick and show how you could do it with any controller. Not quite sure why you'd want to, but there might be reasons. And uh, it's a fun exercise anyway. So let's see, we get the, play with the jog wheel here a little bit. Get the jog wheel up in Virtual DJ. And we had a real, uh, little simple bit of uh, scripting here. So we check the shift variable. And if it's on, we change the pitch with this control instead of the touch wheel. If your uh, controller only has one shift key like in the middle or something like that, or if you're using something else as a global shift, you'd use a dollar sign here. But for this controller, we don't need it. So that's it. Now the jog wheel will act as a pitch control when we hold down the shift key. Now, I'm using a loop here. This is a uh, two times, don't get ready. I used this in one of my mixes, but uh, just using a, a 32 bar loop to beat match with so we can mess around with it. It doesn't turn into different parts of the song. So you can see here, we took the jar wheel down, pitch gets slower. I have 10% set as my limit. Take the jar wheel this way, pitch gets faster, and that also speeds up and slows down the track without the shift key. So we get down to about 0% there. So now just to be sure that I can't cheat, I have a song queued up on my turntable and I have both of these things running through a mini mixer so they'll come out the same speakers. So we have a track here on the turntable DJ might be into the groove. It's not really important what song it is, just to have something where I can't see the BPM or anything like that. I'm going to try to beat match using the jog wheel. Now I have not done this really, so uh, this may take me a couple of tries, you know, don't laugh. Everybody is new to something sometime, and um, I'm new to this right now, so we're going to try it, okay? Here's the song. Alright, so that song is faster, obviously, so I'm going to be going up in pitch. That's right. sensitive but I mean that's close it's not really very hard actually Remembering when you have to hit shift and when not to hit shift. I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, that really didn't take very long to first get it. And this is like my first or second or third time doing this at all. So. All in all, 
it's gonna be not too easy, not too hard. I mean, uh, you know. just really sensitive. But that's pretty well locked right there. A little head on tempo there. But I mean, otherwise not too bad. I mean, if you really had to do this, it's pretty doable. So there it is. I mean, not too hard at all. And uh, just takes a little getting used to because you got to remember when to hit shift and when not to hit shift. But uh, that's it. Just wanted to try that out and show how you could do this with another controller. And maybe if you have an old controller from the way early days and the pitch control is not that great, you might be able to use this instead or, you know, adapt this for some other use. Anyway, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And, and uh, as always, you know, please like and subscribe. Uh, let me know what kinds of things you guys want to see videos on. I'll be happy to uh, try to accommodate. Hey, everybody have a nice one. See ya.